Hey folks, welcome to the first installment of the Surfscape tutorials. Today we're going to jump right into the first and probably most common use of Surfscape, which is our domain lookup. Now there are two ways to get to the domain lookup. You can click over here on the search bar, or at any point you can use this navigation here for the URL-based search. We're going to start from here this time, just as an example. We're going to put in here, uh, let's do WebMD. Now you're probably familiar with a system like this before. Uh, you type in a domain and it finds you all of the keywords that, that page ranks for. So if we type in webmd.com, as you'll see, our system has 805,000 unique keywords for which WebMD ranks. We estimate the total value of their traffic at somewhere around $158 million. The visitors at around 36 organic, 36 million organic visitors a month. We have 47,000 unique pages for WebMD.com in our database. And the average keyword uh, that they rank for has about 460 searches a month and about $3 in CPC. Now, as you scroll down, you'll see all kinds of different keywords and phrases for which they rank. But you can also type in at any time uh, something like influenza or flu to find related keywords based on that. So sinus symptoms of infection or Diflucan or things of that sort. Now, this only gives you 500 of the results, if you notice here. But at any point, you can hit bulk export and get the complete list. The complete list is going to be 100,000 or more results. So as you can notice, it's downloading right now, and it's a pretty big file. But just so you can see, we don't like limitations at Surfscape. So we try and give you as many keywords as we possibly can. So as you can see, we've got just thousands upon thousands upon thousands of keywords for which WebMD ranks. Now after you see the keywords for which WebMD ranks, you can also look at the top pages. This is a really great way to find uh, your competitors or your own most important content. Uh, you'll notice that their top pages ring from a weight loss supplement to a page about how you can tell if you're pregnant or not. Looks like pregnancy actually is pretty important, and this, of course, is searchable as well. So you can find pages that are all about pregnancy in their top list. Once again, you can hit bulk export and get up to the top 100,000 rows of data. Now that ends the part where we're looking specifically at the site, and then we jump into looking at their competitors. We first graph out competitors by traffic and by value. You can see here that the trafficked sites like Wikipedia and Mayo Clinic are very valuable, but we also look at value where we're multiplying the traffic by the CPC value of the keywords for which they rank. A perfect example here would be a site like Medicine Health, which has a lot more traffic or percentage of traffic to share as it does compared to the CPC value. Same with Drugs.com. This means the site ranks for valuable keywords, but not quite as valuable as the majority of their competitors. We then provide you generic competitor details about each one of the top 10 competitors. Everything from the number of keywords they rank for in pages to their estimated traffic, value, average local monthly searches, and average CPC. Well, that's the basic for domain search. This is part one. I hope you'll head over to the tutorial on uh, subdomains, which is next. Thanks.